Friday newsletter time, guys. So hope, hope everybody had a great week. Uh, we got a lot of great things going on. Today's going to be pretty quick. I'm not going to run the router, but I found um, something that actually was passed on to me by several people. Uh, two people, specifically Rich Gentry and Lee Rosenbaum, uh, sent me a link to a video from Woodworking uh, Wood Journal. I think it was Wood Journal magazine or something about a transfer process and uh, I tried it and I love it so I'm going to share it with you guys so many of you guys probably already know about this but here's what we're going to do we, we I've got an image here and we used rapid resizer and um, printed out an image and what we found with rapid resizer just as a by the way is that we used a, a one inch margin a one inch margin on this and it worked out pretty well so what I'm gonna do and this was printed out again with a laser printer so um, I'm gonna just trim this off you can use a paper cutter but I'm just using a, a straight edge and a knife now I'm going to tape these two together and again you guys may have your own process of how you how you do this but I'm just kind of winging it here but um, in essence uh, I don't have any any lettering on this so I didn't have to mirror image it if I had it uh, if I was doing uh, any lettering or spelling on there then I would uh, I would do a mirror image but um, I don't so I'm not so anyway we just printed it out it's going to end up being uh, about 15 by uh, five and a half something like that and I'm just I'm not going to carve this on camera I'm just doing the the transfer process oh by the way we're in our new uh, our new studio here we're having a new studio built here on the property and uh, it's going to be twice as uh, twice as big yeah at least twice as big as our old plastic shed <laughs> so we've uh, got the world. yeah we got new digs going on so I'm just using a piece of pine now this side has sanding sealer on it and I found that this transfer process or actually any transfer process with sanding sealer on doesn't work as good as when the sanding sealer is off so I sanded the, all the sanding sealer off of this thing now I'm not gonna kind of measure this thing I'm just gonna to kind of eyeball it because this is just for demonstration purposes I'm gonna wipe that off get all the any dust that might be on there <laughs> my good expensive masking tape there this is not the the good stuff this is just the cheap masking tape oh no don't do that to me So I'm just going to tape this in place again this is not a real sign this is just a demo process <laughs> give me my glove back dad gum it <laughs> Vicki did much better on her video the other day than I'm doing here thank you for all the comments yeah we got some great comments or Vicki got some great comments I think I'm gonna get fired here I better take some no, photography lessons camera work <laughs> I know that's what I mean I'm gonna get I'm gonna have to take photography lessons so I can uh, take over because everybody wants to see you in front of the camera all right so check this out lacquer thinner okay now all we're doing is we are just gonna soak the heck out of that thing with lacquer thinner now here's the thing in the past I've always been really reluctant to put anything liquid on my board but I got over it <laughs> so watch how this thing actually stands out so I try to keep the lacquer thinner just on the paper I hope this really comes out if this doesn't come out you guys will never see it so <laughs> so you don't edit so. I don't edit I just I just uh, delete <laughs> so now where this overlap is I found that I need to rub a little bit more and soak a little bit more so all I'm using is a paper towel and lacquer thinner and I'll tell you what guys man alive uh, the whole heat transfer thing it works but it is uh, really time-consuming it's almost would be 
faster to do, use the carbon paper method. And I know a lot of you guys, uh, who was I watching today? I think I was watching Cody that does a carbon paper method. And that's, that's great. Everybody's got their own way. But here's the deal is if you can do a fast way and get a really good image, then why not? So we're gonna see if this is gonna come out. So now what they say is to let that, let that lacquer thinner evaporate. And again, I, I probably, and if it, if it doesn't come out, you can always go over it again, honestly. So we're gonna just let that, thing dry for a minute or two and it yeah well it's what you know 85 90 degrees out here today it's already evaporating it's already getting yeah fumes it's great huh <laughs> <Woo -hoo! laughs> reminds me of the old days <laughs> yeah all right so let's see what happens here Actually, I should probably peel it from the top. Oh. Gosh, I hope this works. Yeah, see, it looks like we, some of it came through really good, but it looks like we could have, and so I'm gonna lay that back down and redo it. Do it some more in spots. I'm not even gonna bother putting my gloves back on. Where was it light? Up here, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. So. I'm still kind of learning this process too. I, I tried it for the first time, I think yesterday. Where else was it light, babe? Like the, the top up here? I'm not sure if rubbing in a circular motion or so I'm I'm learning when you as you guys are but you know I, I and I I have always would rather have an image on the board that I didn't have to carve through the paper. That's why I used to use a carbon paper method all the time. Let's see if that thing's gonna come out a little bit better. But you guys are getting the getting the idea. So um, I would I would highly recommend guys giving this a try. Again, you may still like the carbon paper method better or carving through the paper. But I'll tell you what, man, I'm gonna keep playing with this till I get it. You get the ventilator room if you're doing it inside. Ooh. Oh, that's not too bad. I'm going to keep playing with this process till I really get it down. That's not that's bad. Good. That is not bad. And we know that, you know, you. Oh. Look at all those lines in the grill. All those. It's actually not bad at all. Dang it. Yeah. So you could, you really could just take a pencil and just kind of make your outline here. And you know that the, the stuff that's all black, but man, talk about a cool way to get an image on the board. Again, I'm still playing with this, so I think I could get better at it. But um, I absolutely recommend this as far as, um, and you know, there's just, there's no, um, no ill effects to the board as far as I can tell so far that uh, that lacquer thinner it, you know it really doesn't soak into the board it, it really doesn't seem to make any difference now what I would do with this if I was carving this I would now put sanding sealer on it because I still don't want my sanding sealer or my my spray to bleed into this pine uh, in case I get kind of a heavy finger and spray too heavy. So I would just put um, sanding sealer over the whole thing now. Anyway, guys, that is it for today. I mean, a real quick demo, but um, I know the Facebook group is doing a hot rod uh, kind of a 
competition this month so you guys are just doing really great stuff out there uh, Cody and Kent and all you guys on that Facebook group are just doing amazing stay things uh, Joe um, Will Pena you guys are just doing some awesome stuff so um, uh, keep up the great work um, again you always look for my latest video this will have transfer process in the title so always look for the latest one because I've done what 10 different transfer processes I'm always trying something new so anyway guys I hope this works for you try it I mean it, it doesn't cost you anything lacquer thinner um, and paper towel uh, it's certainly worth a try I like it Yes, laser jet printer. Yes, definitely. You have to use a laser jet. This will not work with an ink jet. There's another process that you can use with an ink jet, but it's a lot more complicated than this. Sprays and uh, gluing on, or uh, brushing on white glue and some other stuff. So it gets kind of tricky. Um, but I like this process. And laser jet printers just aren't that expensive. So. Um, I would definitely give it a try if you can, guys. So anyway, that is it. Uh, tomorrow we will be again, uh, tomorrow Saturday, 10 a.m. We'll be in Tucson uh, at a woodworking uh, group uh, and we're doing kind of a demo working with Will Pena and uh, we're really looking forward to that. It'll be a lot of fun. So if you guys are in the area and you can make it, um, let us know. We'd be happy to have you. It's open to everybody. So um, we'll get some footage there. Vicki will be behind the camera probably getting some footage there and uh, we should have some really good stuff from there. So anyway, guys, have a great weekend and we'll see you guys on Monday morning for Coffee and Questions. See you later. Thanks for stopping by. Bye.